Hello everyone, welcome back. Uh, next we're going to, today we're just going to solve few past paper questions related to physical quantities, units and measurements. Okay, let's look at the first question. It says a ruler is measured to use to measure length. What is the length of the nail? You look at the nail over here. If you look at it closely, it's part of a ruler given to you. You look what the value is over here and what the value is at this point and you subtract it. Like remember I told you earlier, it is better not to take a reading right from zero because uh, there may be some wear and tear, the numbers may be erased or if the ruler is really thick, then there can be random errors in your calculations. So we look at the point over here, which is around 8.1. Then we look at the one over here that is 5.2 and you subtract both of them. So 8.1 minus 5.2 will give you 2.9 centimeters. So your answer is B. Right? Now we have a question like this. It says a physical quantity is found to be quoted as 10 capital M small m. What does it mean by this? So we have to say what these two capital M and small m stand for. 10 millimeter, 10 micrometer, 10 megameter or 10 millisecond. So what we have to do is we need to understand 10 is your unit. M capital M is your prefix and small m here is your unit. So small m is your meters, your unit. Capital M, if you have to remember the prefix table stands for mega. So it's 10 mega meter. So part B or option B is your answer. If you look at this question, it says a workman measures as accurately as possible the length and internal diameter of a straight copper wire. The length is approximately 600 centimeters and the internal diameter is approximately 2 centimeters. What is the best combination of the instruments for the workman to use? Okay, so these are the options for internal diameter. This is the options for the length. Now the length is 600 centimeters. That means it's less than a meter and it's a straight copper pipe. So we can use your meter ruler. So there are two options, A and option C. Then you look at the internal diameters 2 centimeters. Now for internal diameter we can use a vernier caliper or a micrometer okay? but there is no option for a micrometer here. So the only option is your vernier caliper, the in external jaws or the internal sorry the internal jaws can be used to measure your 2 centimeters. So your option is answer is C. Next you look at this is diagram shows you a stopwatch and they ask you what is the reading of the stopwatch. When you look closely, it's only showing you one uh, dial and there's only one uh, thing showing your hand. So that means there's no minutes here, only it's measuring in seconds. So this is zero, you have your 15 mark, you have your 30 mark. So between 30 and 45. So you need to know how to divide it. This is 30. So after five units, it will be 35, this is 40, and this is 45, right? So this is 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, and 36, right? So they're all one, one unit. So your answer should be 36. So part C. When you look at the options, they are a little confusing. You have 36.6, you have 33, you have 30.6. So depending on how your scale is divided according to the basis of that, you find your answer. So the answer here is 36. Next here you have a micrometer screw gauge asking you what is the reading. So again, you have to look at your datum line, right, which is here. You take your main scale reading and you're rotating or your thimble scale reading. When you look over here, the digits are gone up actually. So this one is 5. You have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. The down ones are 0.5. So 5.5 is your main scale reading. Then you see in line with this, what is this reading coming? This is 20, 15. So down one must be 10. So it's 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So this is 16. So 0 0.16. Fine. So like I wrote over here, wrote over here, main scale is 5.5, rotating scale or thimble scale is 0.16 millimeters. You add them and that's your answer. Okay. 
next we have what is the region of the stop font shown in the diagram so this is your reading given the answers are given in seconds only so you have to convert your answer into seconds completely so this is your minutes this is your seconds and this is your one ten hundreds of a second so it's four minutes fifty eight point six eight seconds so what you do is first you convert minutes into seconds so one minute is 60 seconds so you do 4 into 60 will give you 240 seconds you add 58.68 to it and this is your answer which is option t okay. next you look at this diagram it shows you a circular ring we need to find what is the approximate outer diameter of the ring okay you have two diameters here one is the point from year to year which is your outer diameter and from this point to this point is your inner diameter so outer diameter you look at this this is coming approximately 34 and this is approximately 37 so what you do is 37 minus 34 will give you an internal diameter okay but if you look closely actually you need to keep a ruler i'm just taking approximate so 37 minus 34 will give you three centimeters there's no option for three here you have 3.1 so what you do is if you put a ruler properly draw a line and you see so you'll get a better accurate reading okay so what would have been either this one will be 33.9 minus 37 you will get 3.1 or the other way when you do it with the ruler you'll get a better reading next so this is as if you want to determine the length of a pencil which has a length between 7 and 7.5 centimeters with the accuracy of 0.1 millimeter which are the following instruments you will use okay 7 to 7.5 half meter ruler is too large steel tape is too large micrometer is too small it measures micrometer measures to 2.5 to 5 centimeters so the only option left is your vernier caliber you look at this it is giving you statements for scalars and vectors you have to say which statement is correct a scalar has direction but no size is it correct no a scalar has size but no direction a vector has direction but no size a vector has size but no direction so if you remember what we were studying earlier scalars give magnitude or you can say size here with no direction vector gives direction as well as magnitude so the only option correct is b a scalar has size but no direction next the last question is just a simple one again it's concerning your symbols power is measured in watts what is the correct symbol for millions of watts okay when you look at your capital w fine so you need to know what is the symbol for million the first one says small m and capital w small m is milli fine capital m can be used for millions and sometimes used for mega as well both it's used in both cases but here you have a small w so small w is wrong what is given by the symbol capital w so when you look at part c is your correct option because capital m for million and capital w for what so your answer is part C. Right? That's it for today. Hope to see you all. Later.